hi guys welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video so if you are new here please hit that subscribe button and join me um i am posting content related to bsg um weight loss journey and all of that jazz um so yeah sit back relax uh like i said go ahead and subscribe give the video a thumbs up and if you have any pointers for me or if you want to give me some advice or tell me about your surgery anything like that leave it down in the comment section so um if i didn't say my name my name is nikki i had surgery may 20th 2021 I am down still uh, 31 pounds. I have not weighed again. So I just wanted to give you guys a little update on my progress, you know, and everything that I have been doing, ups, downs, the real, honest to God truth. Um, I just want to sit back and, you know, tell you guys about everything that's been going on. So I think the last time I told you guys I got on the scale and I was, uh, I had gained two pounds. And I was just like, you know what, I'm about to put the scale up, put it in the closet, and um, I'm just not going to get on it again. So, I ended up getting on it about a day or so later. It might have been two days, a day or so, somewhere in there. And I was 314 pounds. I was like, whoa. Like, oh my God, this is why they say you can stay off the damn scale. <laughs> So, anywho, um, after that, I put the scale up for real. I honestly put the scale up. Um, and I have not gotten back on the scale. So, um, I take that back. Yes, I did. I did get back down to 308. Uh, what's today? Monday, Sunday, I weighed. I was back down to 308. So, no more scale, Nikki. Stay off the scale. So, I'm not, I'm not going to get on the scale until I have my next, uh, doctor's appointment which is June 29th so until then I'm going to probably just be doing food videos and telling you guys how I feel you know what I can hold down and what I can so um I am on I guess it's considered soft foods but with the puree it was puree and soft my last week or so so the 17th I was able to move to the next stage um so I did have some Qdoba. Um, if you guys are not familiar with Qdoba, Qdoba is kind of like a uh, chipotle. I would guess it's like a Mexican eatery, eats, whatever you call it. Um, and I had the, I will put up a picture probably over here or a video. Um, I had the cauliflower, black beans, um, chicken. It was considered a protein bowl. So it was cauliflower, black beans, chicken, three cheese queso um sour cream pico de, ga pico de gaia and a little bit of shredded cheese now with the shredded cheese i should have had fat free but you couldn't really see it so it wasn't that much um now i know the bowl looks like it is a whole lot which it is a whole lot but your girl did not eat all of that i maybe ate about four forkful spoonfuls whatever you want to call it um and then i had to put the rest away so i, I still have some down in my fridge um right now so uh with uh eating my eating let's talk about eating first um don't ever let you guys don't ever let anybody tell you that they are just perfect with their eating you still crave food you still get hungry i was told that they take the girl out the girl goes away for a whole month well i still feel hungry matter of fact last night i was laying in bed about 9 30 10 o'clock and it's like i was starving but i didn't get up to get anything to eat i keep a small refrigerator in my room and i just keep something to drink in it because i live in a townhouse and i am upstairs um so i don't want to be trotting back and forth to the refrigerator all through the night because i won't get any sleep so i just keep like some water and gatorade um, in the fridge and I do keep a couple of pro protein shakes in there just in case on a Saturday morning if I want to sleep in but I want to get something to drink <clears throat> um, I want to have a protein shake or something like that so yeah um, you, you still get hungry so you know and you know you're not perfect you're still gonna want you know those you're still gonna have those cravings now you 
nine times out of ten you won't be able to eat but a little um but you know you still gonna have those cravings so that's why i said sis you need to know this um it's not easy it's you know no cakewalk in the park so um it's about determination and i am determined to get this weight off um but it's gonna take some time um I'm trying to see what did I eat. I did have my cauliflower pizza. Um, I ended up burning it. Um, I did find some protein chips. These are just some things that I've been going over. These are just some things that I've been eating um, for the past few days. I did have some protein chips, uh, but I think the chips have a lot of carbs in it. So um, that was just to give me that fix of a chip. Um, because I like potato chips and dips. I'm not a big sweets fan. I don't like, you know, it's not that I don't like cake. That, that I will eat pound cake and that's it. And let me tell you guys what happened. So, the Thursday I got, I got back to work. Um, one of the, it might have been that Friday. It, I think it was Friday. Friday, the next day I came to work. And uh, a customer, I work for Walmart Online Grocery, and a customer brought in a pound cake for all of the associates. And I'm sitting there like, boom, there's that pound cake. But uh, I didn't get any. I just kind of put it in the back of my head, and I had a protein shake that I had in my pocket. Because, um, you know, it's those little, and I have to wear like a little smock or vest. So I had one in my pocket and I just kept that in my pocket and I just drank on that. And luckily it was caramel, so it was sweet. So, you know, you just have to, you know, be determined. That's the only thing that I can pretty much tell you when it comes to food is just be determined. Don't ever let anybody get on here and tell you that they are so perfect. Um, They did this right and they did that right, you know, because, I mean, I've eaten rice. Um, and I think on my list, it says that I cannot have rice. I need to have cauliflower rice. Considering it was a real small portion, it was some shrimp fried rice and I was sitting in my cousin's house and I want to say this was Sunday maybe. And I just had a little bit. It was just a little bit with some sweet peas and some carrots and shrimp and it was rice, but it was just a little bit. I mean... You sitting around family and they having dinner and you sitting there like a knot on a log because you can't eat. Um, it's just, it's it's going to take some time for you to get to it. So it's going to take some time for me to, you know, really, really just push forward and get, the, get this weight off. So um, I am able to exercise starting July the 1st. That's when I will be off my restrictions. So right now I'm just going to do like some little moderate exercising in the house. Um probably you know do a youtube video or something like that i don't know if this light is blinking y'all but if it is kind of ignore it i'm sorry i just wanted to give you guys my four week one month basically post out video um so um i'm back to where i was so still 31 pounds down for the month of may um this is june i am actually one month out from my surgery which is great i still think 31 pounds is great for the month of june now let me tell you guys um I believe I dropped weight significantly right after surgery um, because I was constipated and I didn't eat like as far as food I, it was sugar-free popsicles basically and I would try to drink a protein shake but I probably wouldn't get much down I would try to drink water but I probably didn't get much down so I don't remember it like it was yesterday but I just you know I remember the pain I remember just laying around all day just laying on my couch like all day not getting up to do anything not wanting to do anything i was just ready for that feeling to be gone so when i tell you i was dropping weight i was dropping two pounds a day three pounds a day like it was just coming off you know drastically coming off so now i am to the point to where i'm eating food um i'm not going overboard with the food because of course you know with the gastric sleeve it's not gonna let you it's not gonna allow you to eat much um, so now I'm, you know, drinking my protein shakes and drinking water. I am going to the bathroom reg regular. Um, my urine is clear. It's not clear white, but it's not that dark yellow. So you need to pay attention to that. Um, I am kind of thirsty. 
most of the time. So I try to keep something to drink with me at all times. Um, my energy level, um, one being poor, 10 being the best. My energy level is about an eight. Today I was off. Um, and your girl had so much energy. I got some stuff done. I got my packages shipped for my store, my online boutique. You guys can shop it at fashionrags.com. I will have a link down in the description box. Um, normally on my off days, I would just stay at home, wouldn't go anywhere. Um, your girl was rolling today. I went to Lowe's. I went to two different Lowe's. I went to the one that was on one side of town and the other one that was on this side of town. Um, so I was just, you know, doing a lot. Um, my energy was, it was there. Um, and I did not take my vitamins today. I just thought about that. I did not take my vitamins. So after this video, I need to take at least my multivitamin. I'm not going to take the B12, um, because it supposedly gives you energy. So I'm going to take, you know, my multivitamin once I get off of here. Um, and I think that is it as far as like my, there's nothing really new as far as, you know, the post-op diet. I did go to the grocery store today, so I will roll that clip and let you guys see um, what I picked up. Um, All but right. These are just some things that I'm going to be eating on across the week. Um, I did have some salmon and shrimp. Um, so I, um, a lot of this stuff that I'm telling y'all, telling you guys that I had, I uh, still got the majority of it in my refrigerator now um so that's another thing that i want to tell you guys is you know your eyes are bigger than your mouth your stomach so when you cook like i'm i'm still getting used to the um portion size um the amount that i need to cook it's always just been me and my munchkin but of course you never know that you're overeating until you have had this surgery so i have been overeating which is why i'm in the predicament that i'm in um i've always been told that i had a nice shape but i am you know overweight significantly morbidly obese um i will put up a picture of what i look like or a video of what i look like so um but yeah i um, feel like I'm on the right path as far as the surgery and my eating habits. I got to get the working out part um, started so that I can see, you know, a lot pro a lot more progress. I don't want to lose weight too, too fast, um, but I do want to start seeing some drastic changes now. Based on me in this video, I feel like I am a little smaller. I do look a little smaller than what I have normally been. Um, and I can see it like in my stomach and then the chin another thing is um i have on makeup right now but my skin is so much better like when i say a lot better like it's so much better i wish i would have did a clip without my makeup uh so you guys can see what it looks like but um i have like a lot of dark spots and stuff right here and then this up here is like really really light to where you know no matter go anywhere without makeup but yeah i think your girl has been doing good but anywho you guys i just wanted to come on here and give you guys this quick update don't forget to like comment and subscribe definitely double tap that bell so that you're notified every single time i post a new video and give the video a thumbs up and you know if you got some advice for your girl leave it down in the comment section and i will catch you guys in my next